What's up guys, Wix Android HD here and tonight I'm going to be presenting you Aurora ROM version 5.2 and uh, I have recently reviewed this ROM towards uh, in a beta stage but today I will try my best to explain uh, the features of this beautiful ROM which is a Galaxy S6 like port ported ROM, ported firmware um, just to make sure you guys see that I'm running Aurora ROM, I will show you this page here. So build number Aurora 5.1, but uh, I'm running 5.2 right now. I don't know why they didn't change uh, this um, this le this uh, number here. Uh, I think they forgot, but it's not such a big deal. Uh, it's running also Aurora kernel. Which is the base kernel for also for Albi's uh, version 5, uh, 4.5, which I'll be reviewing also to the, tonight. Um, so <clears throat> I played, I have played a little with this run before I made this review, as I do always uh, recommend for this type of. Uh, users who want to flash custom ROMs on your device before proceeding to the uh, installing apps to the um, part when you want to use it as your daily driver just make sure all the uh, features that you like work all the emails are uh, working the synchronizing is working and so on so <coughs> that's what I that's what I did and uh, Frankly, I haven't found any bugs recently, but um, we may found we may find uh, some uh, some of them by just browsing through every feature in this review. Uh, as you may see, I have a custom theme on this uh, on this ROM. It is called Space. It comes by default with the default theme. And um, I'll keep this on because it's a little bit darker and it's uh, it uh, seems to be way better showing on my DSLR right now. Um, either way, you can also install other themes by having uh, a custom, a ca not a custom, a Samsung Samsung account like this one. And I will show you how it looks like. It's kind of a minimalistic theme. I really like it, but as you may see, it looks vanished on my. Yeah, let's let I'll let the user interface build build up. Don't why it's taking so long. It's maybe maybe the first bug. It's nope. Don't know what a what the heck. Okay, so yep, it's already a bug. Um, unfortunately. I think the system user interface crashed. It's not such a big deal because it came back, but it may happen from time to time. Since it is a port, pay attention. I don't like ports, and you may already know that I do not support port, or ported uh, ROMs. So this is how it looks like with the brightness dimmed out a little bit. So it's really minimalistic. It's not that great to browse this, browse through this phone in the daylight with this theme, but yeah, you know, we can discuss taste this right now. So I'm gonna switch back to the space theme. Let's hope this time we won't get a system user interface force close. Um, so yeah, themes are working perfectly. Let's get to the main features of this ROM. Yeah, again, system UI stopped. Not such a big deal. Okay. Again, why? So yeah, let's browse through some apps, see how the user interface looks like. Um, these are the main tools that you can um, edit. Flashlight is working, as you may see. Um, sound modes. You see, we have some custom um, sounds that come with the theme. 
we have ultra poor saving mode let's test it because a lot of you guys want ultra poor saving mode and I don't frankly I don't know why because since it's a ported it's a ported uh, what the fuck is it working on what sorry sorry I have to activate it by didn't work oh yes it is I have to long press ultra poor saving what the heck is this so it seems not to be working yes. at least it won't I think it won't work on custom teams yeah maybe that's it so what was I saying a lot of you guys uh, are telling me that uh, uh, questioning me where is the ultra power saving mode uh, guys take in mind that ultra power saving mode is supported supported feature from the Galaxy S5 it was initially released on the Galaxy S5 and it will give you the best result on the Galaxy S5 or the Galaxy S6 or the future devices but a port will never be so such uh, so accurate to the main base of the of the feature itself so stop asking if uh, there is an, any ultra power saving mode I don't really use it because for me and for other users this seems to be a useless idea a port like that is a useless idea so anyway let's see how taking a, a phone call looks like yep like this let's see let's see how a message a message looks like okay so we have floating messages as you may see beautiful beautiful so if I click on this you'll get a really short pop-up animation pop-up menu you can reply to this message like this or you can set it as red red view and it automatically opens opens the uh, messages application the camera is the default one from Samsung Galaxy S6 let me see sorry I don't know if it's yep took a photo two photos yeah a bug um, music application calculator in terms of speed and, smooth and smoothness, since it's a port, it won't be as fast as it would be on uh, a Galaxy S6, for example. So you may occur some lag while going into recent app, recent apps menu like this. Anyways, um, multi window. Let's test it. Let's test the multi window support, and we'll get into music also. So yep. Multi window works perfectly as you may see. Okay, any other features? So, from time to time, we have some serious lag in the scrolling part, in the user interface. Not such a big deal. Um, one thing that is important in this ROM, and I haven't heard of any other ports to have it, is the Aurora settings. You can customize your status bar, status bar general settings, status bar advanced settings, enhancement settings, advanced power menu, but we'll get into any of these. So status bar time display switch, showtime. It's like showtime, yeah. If you unclick, if you un, um, unclick, yeah, I have a big, uh, un, uh, unthick, yeah, unthick this you'll be able to see that there is no clock I really like it this seems to be more minimalistic but it's it shows here so this bar wig display switch yep it shows the wig this wig uh, wig name the left button to activate the something don't know what the the either yeah doesn't go, doesn't matter. Status bar on the right to activate. 
Oh, so. Oh. So he's kind of a back button. Yeah, cool. Who needs that? <laughs> That's bar clock I can switch. I can switch. I think it's this one. Do the status bar icon switch. Yeah. The status bar advanced settings drop down button style. Yep, I deactivated the S menu and the S planner and the quick connect. Network traffic. Show only upload. As we see, there is a tra traffic. Uh, network traffic icon. Wi Fi events icons. And if you can status bar background. I think we'll have to reboot the device before changing the or at least the system UI. Display operator name as we see orange, custom carrier name, so we may write wicked like this. And we have wicked, beautiful, beautiful. Custom drop down carrier name, status bar carrier color. Yep, these kind of things, enhancement settings. So double click the home key function, turn on the camera. Didn't really know that. Yep. Pops up really quick. Oh. Yep, about, let's see, one second. Yeah, it's really good. Really impressed with this. Loud volume settings, you can make your device louder. Call advanced settings. Dial pad attribution. Incoming automatic recording and called racing screen Wi-Fi password manager advanced function menu fast close AHRPD after entering press the menu key point here blah, 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 blah. fuck okay check battery information email and yeah support or wrong so yep that was pretty much it if it comes with uh, exposed insular, I guess I guess that it is already installed as you may see, so exposed framework is already installed, so you may try some different modules and uh, make sure you feedback uh, you give me a feedback right below in the comment section if it worked and if you like this ROM um, that is pretty much it, I think yeah, really cool I really like this um, step that makes Samsung uh, finally makes touchways actually finally customizable because it really looks cool and it depends uh, whether you have a bad day or a good day in order to change moods and uh, <coughs> yeah that's that's a pretty pretty impressive step Samsung made in order to fulfill our desires as customers um, so yeah, that was it for this review guys, I hope you like it, let me see some serious lag, yeah, 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 uh, the lock screen isn't showing up, hope we may need a reboot, but either way, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below, and the thumbs up button, oh, it um, will help me a lot, and of course you may want to hit that share button also just to uh, help other people watch my reviews my tutorials and if they want to change ROMs they will know how to do it and how they perform so Wicked Android is out guys thanks for watching thanks actually <laughs> yeah bye bye